Good morning, Winchester Village. Happy Friday, March 10th, 2021. I'm going to start the announcements a little differently with Dog Watch. I am excited to report that Cinnamon is her name, um, and um, she uh, was um, the uh, IMPD and ND Animal Control were able to catch her. Um, but then we are also excited, and thank you to Mrs. Hurt for helping. Uh, Mrs. Hurt was able to post it on a website, and um, a lady said, that's my dog, her name is Cinnamon. And so um, Cinnamon's owner went and picked her up at Animal Control, and we are excited to tell you that Cinnamon is home with all of her um, friends and her other owners, and this is a funny picture that Cinnamon's owner sent us. So we are very excited that Cinnamon is home, she is safe, I know lots and lots of boys and girls were asking me and Mrs. Reuter um, what happened to Cinnamon or what happened to the dog. And we are happy to say that she, we were able to catch her um, and we were able to identify her. And she is now home safe um, with her um, owners and family. So thanks to everyone who cared about Cinnamon. Um, and we're glad that Cinnamon is home safe. At this time, we'll continue with announcements. So please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our moment of silence. Today, our reflection thought is, I will be present in the moment. Now that's a really kind of a tough skill to think about. But what that means is I'm going to pay attention every time I'm doing something. No matter where I'm at, I'm going to be focused. I'm going to pay attention. So let's bow our heads and think, what's one thing I need to do to really be focused in on the moment? Let's bow. Great job, boys and girls. You may be seated. You know, really use today to kind of focus on what you're thinking, what you're doing, what your teacher is saying, and that'll really help you have a great day. Don't forget to roar, be respectful, own your learning and behavior, achieve great things, and be responsible. Today for lunch, it is everyone's favorite, Tony's Personal Pan Pizza, Peanut Butter and Jelly Encrustable Garden Salad, um, green, uh, broccoli, fruit, and milk. We've got a couple students celebrating their birthdays over the weekend. Um, we don't have anyone celebrating their birthday today, but on Saturday, the 11th, happy early birthday to Landon Anderson. Yasmin Apar is celebrating her birthday on Saturday, the 11th. Von Biak Salai is celebrating a birthday on March 11th. And on Sunday, March 12th, Happy early birthday to Nicole Caps. Those friends should all stop by the office for their birthday surprise. Make sure we're taking good care of our Chromebooks and we're turning them off each night. Um, I told Miss Steve, um, we are actually the second highest um, building in the whole district um, with the least amount of Chromebook issues. So great job to everyone taking care of their Chromebooks. Um, in the month of February, we only had 10 issues. Um, the school that beat us, Clinton Young, only had nine. So I'd like to get our numbers down and beat them in March. Um, but great job taking good care of your Chromebooks. Um, when we take good care of our Chromebooks, that means that Miss Steve and the technology department can replace the ones that need to replace, not the ones that have gotten damaged. Make sure you have your bus lanyard everywhere you go. I had some girls ask me, why do I need it? It's how we keep you safe. It's how we know where you are. It's how we help identify you. Um, and it's how we get through lines faster. So like I said, fifth graders, you've really got to wear it when you go to sixth grade. So make sure you are using your lanyard every day. Take good care of our restrooms. Throw away any trash. If you make a mess, please let the office or your teacher know so that we can get it cleaned up. But remember, we go in the bathroom, we use the restroom, we wash our hands, and we get in and out. We don't play around. It's the bathroom. It's where people use the toilet. Recess. I know the grass has been a little damp and a little wet because of the rain, but make sure that we are taking good care. Stomp any mud, any grass off on your shoes uh, before you enter the building to keep mud all from going all over our school. And 
make sure that when you're in the cafeteria, you're throwing away any dropped papers, wrappers. Um, if you make a mess, be sure to raise your hand and notify your teacher or the custodian so that our um, cafeteria stays nice and clean. We've got one week to order a yearbook. Um, remember, a yearbook is a, a book filled with pictures of our school, of our friends, um, but after next Friday, we won't be able to sell any more. So buy it now or else you may not get a yearbook. Don't forget to check the lost and found. You've got five school days left after next Friday. Anything left, we will donate to charity because um, we're not going to keep lost and found around for that long anymore. Um, evaluate is going really well. We've got lots of kids making great growth. Very proud of you. I know a couple grade levels are finishing up today. So remember, do your best, try your hardest, show, um, answer that question as best as you can. Speaking of kids working really hard, Mrs. Thiel wanted me to brag on Kalia from Mrs. Shelburne's class. And she said that Kalia, she's like, she's my kind of my recess helper. She follows directions. She always knows what's going on. She watches to make sure nothing bad happens. Uh, Mrs. Thiel also said she's great about if she sees stuff like broken stuff or damaged or wrappers or trash, she'll ask to help um, clean it up. So Kalia, thank you for setting a great example of how we take care of our playground, how we help keep everyone safe. So great job, Kalia. Very, very proud of you. Third grade is finishing up I Read 3 today. You are working so hard. I know you're doing a great job. I'm excited and how proud I am that everyone is just really working hard. So today is our last testing day. You can do it, third graders. Do your best. I know you're smart. I know you're capable. Keep up the good work. Spring pictures um, it had to be pre-ordered. Um, so uh, in a little bit, um, someone will come around and anyone who has their spring pictures, uh, we will take their picture and then we will send them back to class. Not everyone will get spring pictures. It's only if your moms and dads pre-ordered. So Thursday was a little crazy. We've had better days. One of our biggest things, we gotta work on keeping our hands and feet to ourselves. We've gotta work on controlling and regulating our emotions. I know sometimes we get upset. I know sometimes something mean happens or bad happens and we get angry, but we can't blow up. We can't touch people. And so my challenge for you today, keep those hands and feet to yourselves. Put them in your pockets, cross your arms, stick them under your armpits. I don't care. Just don't touch another person. You are a wildcat. You are fierce, you're ferocious, and there's nothing you can't do. Make it a great day, wildcats. The choice is yours. Bye, everyone.